All right, today I'm gonna show you how to add 500 pounds to your bench press in five days. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why you're here. I'm gonna show you how to change the LED in your Xbox controller. And is it the right way? Maybe not, but it's the easiest way, that's for sure, okay? And look, I did it to my own controller, look at this. I had this controller for two years now and it's been like this, works perfectly fine. Hear that, hear that? So you wanna know how to do it, quick, fast, and easy? Watch the rest of the video, you know what the deal is. Like, subscribe, and wow. All right, I'll see you. All right, so you're gonna get your plastic pry tool and we're gonna use this to remove the back side panel. So you're gonna start right here and just try to remove all the clips, keep moving along as you hear them detaching, get them all, and it's gonna be hard. So once all the clips are detached, you're gonna just wanna pull this off right here. And if you got fingernails, good for you, cause I don't got none, cause this is hard. All right, so we got it off, and now we're just gonna repeat the same process for the other side. All right, both side panels are off, and now we're gonna remove these T8 Torx screws. There's gonna be five of them in total. One of them is gonna be right here behind this sticker where the battery pack goes. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that right now. I don't take it off all the way, I just do halfway, so it's easier to put it back on later. But if you don't care for the sticker, just take it off all completely. When you're taking the screws off, it'd be useful to put them somewhere so you don't lose them. Okay, screws are off. You're gonna take the back off, and you're also gonna take the front of the controller off. Put them to the side for now. You know what I'm saying? Put this over here. Once the controller's all open, first thing we're gonna do is remove these little tiny cables one by one. They unclip really easy. Next, we're gonna wanna remove this portion where the sync button is, and you're gonna get your plastic pry tool and just pry this up right here. Oh, there goes a little thumbstick. We'll get there later. All right, unpry the next one, and it should just pop right off. There it is. And the thumbsticks, we can go ahead and take these off right now. I didn't think about it, but take them off right now. All right, the clips are detached. Now we're gonna just go ahead and remove this first motherboard right here. And remember, I'm just showing you the quickest, easiest way right here without soldering. Soldering is a whole different story and you gotta have equipment and it takes some skills right here what I'm showing you. Anybody can do this, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and remove these screws. These are T6 torque screws. We're gonna remove two more screws and these screws are holding in the bottom motherboard. We're gonna remove this top motherboard, or not completely, but just a bit, you'll see. And what I do is just pry up from underneath where the thumbsticks are and push upwards and that's gonna pop it right out. All right, there she go, there she go, nice and easy. Now for this last motherboard, I think there's gonna be four screws. One, two, three right there, and there's the fourth. There she goes, there she goes. I'm right, gonna take these off, you know what I mean? Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is the 3.5 audio jack. Do whatever you want with it, nobody uses it, right? Nah, no, I'm playing, just keep that to the side. We're ready to change the color of the LED and we're gonna be using a color filter. I'm using blue and I'll show you how to do this real quick. So that bottom motherboard right there, you're gonna grab it like this pry it up just a bit and we're gonna put that color filter right on top of where the home button goes I'll show you right now I'm pointing there all right and we're gonna use some glue just to hold it in place and trust me look it, this is my own controller it's been in there for two years hasn't moved it's gonna work and there it is that's how it looks and I'm gonna just throw this in there too because I played myself a couple times right before putting the controller back together Once you got it all back together, go ahead and click every single button, move it around, make sure everything's back to where it is, it's working. Okay, so voila, let me power it on so you guys can see it. 